Hello. Let's talk about how computers work or how a computer work. Now I'm actually using my laptop, okay, Mac, book, and use running the recording software. I'm using a PowerPoint too,、uh, so that I can draw something, okay. So it is a good question, but not so easy to answer、uh, to it. Okay, but I want to、uh, explain to you、uh, in a very simple way. Okay, so when you buy a computer, yeah, you got a hardware, right? Yeah, the hardware, but you,、uh, I guess you won't try to open it up, right?、Uh, to break down your computer, you now to see what's inside it, right? But somehow, when our hardware broken.、Uh, Uh, we got it fixed. Okay, we may open the computer. You may find computer they has a lot of、uh, circuitry. Okay, and then you may find some black small things that the CPU, that's a processor, the most expensive one. Okay, and、uh, when you purchase a computer, you care about the、uh, uh, CPU, a processor speed. Okay, and you care about the、uh, Uh, memory size, okay, and you care about your resolution of the display, right? Your computer need to you to show something, right? That's a monitor or screen, okay. And you care about、uh, their input, right? Your input devices, maybe the keyboard, okay, the the way they organize the keyboard, okay, and that's it, and. So, people、uh, can describe computer, okay, through the hardware, and after that, you worry about how you can run the application. Very very high level. Maybe you are artist. You you may install some image processing tool. Maybe you are doing your podcast. Okay, <laughs> you need a recording、uh, software. So you're thinking about the platform, and very importantly. So you got the hardware. Okay, let's draw the computer. Oh, I need to change the tool. See, <laughs> okay, you have computer, you have the、uh, screen. Okay, you have a display screen. You have the keyboard. Okay, and inside it, inside the computer. There is a uh, very important uh, ingredient uh, called a CPU. Okay, and you got a、uh, lot of memory, right? Memory. Okay, memory is quite crucial because、uh, you need to run the application. Maybe a lot of application at the same time. So CPU memory.、Uh, maybe you have uh, uh, we call it disks. Okay, it could be the、uh, hard disk. Okay, or、well, now people use uh, uh, SSD, uh, static uh, memory. Okay, because the speed is faster. And maybe you have a, a little tiny mouse, okay, so that you can use a graphical interface. So,、uh, all kinds of all kinds of hardware devices, okay. But that is pretty much it, okay. So you got a CPU, you,、uh, you got a computer. So after that,、uh, you may. Think about what kind of what kind of operating system. Oh, we call it OS operating system. Okay, you want to install. Okay, so、uh, a lot of people use the Windows,、uh, which is a Microsoft. Okay, and some who are doing、uh, multimedia、uh, prefer maybe Macs. 
although a lot of things that you can also do on the Microsoft. And if you are a system administrator, maybe you install a Unix like or Linux. Okay. And etc. Of course, there are some other operating system too, but the majority uh, uh, of the operating system uh, can be classified into these three, right? Okay. So after you install operating systems, so what do we normally do a daily life? We install some kind of uh, a daily operating uh, software. We call a application. Not application. Oh, <laughs> application. Okay, I'm going to change. Going to erase. Hmm, erase a lovely software application. All, all the software. Software tool, right? And now let's change another color. Okay. <laughs> okay. For example, now I'm running uh, PowerPoint. Okay. PowerPoint is a presentation tool. Okay. I'm running the PowerPoint uh, on my Mac. Actually, yeah, it is. It could be run on the Windows. Also have the Mac version. Yes. I'm now using my. Uh, my digital pen uh, so that I can easily to draw not using the uh, mouse to click on. Okay, this is a mouse, right? Okay, everybody know what a mouse is, right? You don't need me to show you <laughs> uh, this. And I'm also recording. I'm also recording. I'm using a microphone, okay? Uh, external microphone, uh, which has a USB connection, okay? Okay, microphone, microphone stand microphone kind of <laughs> sorry about that okay a microphone we can which can pick up my voice uh, stereo and then has a USB connection a interface so that the, the sound will go uh, directly uh, digital phone into the computer of course, now uh, I'm filming. Uh, I'm doing a recording, video recording. I'm actually using a built-in webcam uh, to uh, do the recording, so which can kind of capture my my face, okay, my handsome face, okay, <laughs> okay, so. Uh, to do this, uh, I'm running the PowerPoint and also a capture a screen cased software. Okay. A screen cased software which can capture my microphone sound and the, the, and the, uh, the screen and the face in one place. And later on, I can do a basic editing. Okay. Editing. Okay, because I'm a teacher, I, I do the online course, so those are the software that I'm using. So just an example that uh, you may run some software, install software, the game, or maybe uh, you do the uh, uh, documentation, you, you install the, we call the word processor, okay? Those kind of software you oh, you may install the image image processor, okay. If you're an artist, you design the artwork, okay, like Photoshop, or Illustrator, those kind of things, okay. Maybe you are a podcaster, podcaster, podcaster is the person who record uh, mainly the sound they can. Uh, put it on the server. Uh, some people love it, and they can subscribe it. They can download the the audio form of the thing. So, 
So the, all those things require the software, okay? But so you can now have the basic idea. We we buy a computer, okay? And that's a most expensive one. But sometimes the software is even even <laughs> it's not cheaper. Uh, it's not cheap anymore. But in in any sense, but. The software is necessary so that they can work together. So the cool thing is that who design those software? Who design those hardware, right? The human, right? The person who study the computer science, we need to uh, learn how computers works. And a programmer is the person who write the software okay using a certain kind of programming language okay who we'll write a software by using uh, we call a programming language sorry programming language okay uh, for example, if I'm writing a uh, uh, software which require uh, fast speed, uh, execution speed, efficiency, I may probably re write it in C program. Yeah. If I want to develop a web web uh, uh, programming, uh, some dynamic animation or interaction. Uh, in the browser, I may probably write that in JavaScript. If I are uh, doing some data analysis, okay, and text processing, I may need some library uh, about the uh, uh, machine learning, whatever, okay, I may write a program in Python. If I'm a musician, <laughs> I want to use the computer to generate some code. Okay, of course you have a lot of choices. You may want to use a Sony Pi. Okay. Wow, I got a message in my <laughs> in my uh, whiteboard. But anyhow uh, we have tons of the programming languages, okay? There's uh, no one way to to solve the problem, okay? You can actually use any programming language to do almost any things, but some programming languages are going to uh, be a lot easier than others because a lot of the community developer they work together, they create a, what will they call the APIs. Okay, the library. Okay, so that's basically how computer works from the hardware perspective and kind of the software perspective and the programmer perspective. Okay, I hope that uh, that gives you the very uh, primitive, basic, uh, uh, big picture. Okay, I'll see you in next lecture. Bye bye.